Dean, another pre-season victory. How are you feeling? Um, yeah, it was good. I mean, first half I thought it was very, very good. Um, lots of lots of positives. Um, I felt second half we made a few changes, um, and I, I thought we struggled again to to break them down. They they changed their shape second half, and uh, I thought it made it quite difficult for us. But we, we you know we need to be better than that, and we need to be more patient and keep the ball better. And we try to force it through areas which uh, we give the ball away. And it, as I said before, every time we give the ball away, it's given the opposition. A, a, opportunity to attack us and uh, they're the things we've got to keep working on um, but overall very pleased with the performance first half especially um, I thought it was an excellent excellent first half performance and a, a goal from a set piece as well is that something you've been looking at no it's <laughs> killed you isn't it <laughs> We've not worked on any any set pieces at all, Will. Um, so I'm actually pleased it's gone in. The delivery was good, and, and Cal's attacked the ball really well. Um, Callum's right foot again, which is um, which is a positive. But no, we, we haven't had a chance to work on on any set pieces at the moment. We're, we're still working on on fitness levels. Um, and as I said, and I've said it for a number of, uh, number of times now, is that we know we're now trying to bring the players back to bring the sharpness back into their legs. So positive from that, and, and hopefully we can work on that going into the last couple of weeks before the start of the season. Obviously, it's still hot now. It was hot at the start of the game. Has that throw, did that throw a spanner in, you, in the works of, of how you looked at playing players, or stick to the plan? It, it did. It did a bit, really. I mean, we obviously have to think of the players' welfare. Um, you know, we've, we. It's the most important thing at this stage of the season, um, and everything that we we do is, you know, we obviously got to take the players' uh, welfare into consideration, and that was the most important thing today. I think the referee handled the situation really well. I think we had every 15 minutes we got some water on. Um, I spoke to all the players this morning um, in terms of making sure they hydrated during the day. Um, we're taking plenty of water on, so when they turned up tonight, we weren't in a situation where one or two of the players felt a little bit hydrate, hydrated from that side of it, or dehydrated, should I say, from that side of it. Um, so, very good, as I say, the, the boys that started off were very good. It was very warm at the start as well for the first 45 minutes. I felt a little bit of rain come down and the, and the temperature just slightly to drop, but I think people are saying now it's still 27, 28 degrees here now. Um, so, it is, it is warm, it is muggy. Um, and I think the players have all had a good sweat tonight, which is good. And we're getting them back in and start again on Thursday for, for Saturday's game at Hendon. And you had a few trialists in this day, two goals for one. Are you still looking or are you pretty much solid in what you've got? No, I think we have to keep looking, Will. I think we're wrong even when the season starts. We've got to look to improve. Um, the one thing I did last year, um, I felt I was very loyal to the squad. Um, I think I was very loyal to a lot of players last year. Um, and in the end, the, the overall performance of finishing ninth wasn't good enough. So, uh, unfortunately, we're in that situation this year where, you know, we've, we've got to for, forever, ever look to improve. Um, and if that means we've got to move one or two players on or bring a new one or two faces in, then I'm happy to do that. Um, I've just said to the players there, I didn't think the second half performance was the level it should have been. Um, and, and to be fair, people have got to step up to the plate because if not, you know, we will bring players in and we move, will move players around because at the end of the day, football's all about trying to win games of football. First half, very positive. Second half, I felt was a little bit disappointing in terms of the way we moved the ball. There wasn't enough movement. There wasn't enough quality on the ball. We gave the ball away cheap. Um, Lewis just spoke to Larissa there or Lewis there, then the trialist in goal. You know, the, the goal we gave away was a terrible goal. It was under no pressure whatsoever, and, and the keepers come flying out and, and, and took their player out. So they're all the things we have to have a look at. Um, but again, you know, we're in pre season. We're, we're trying to get ourselves ready for, for Chelmsford on the 6th of August. Um, so I'm pleased with that first half. As I say, lots of things we need to take out the second half and, and make sure we put them right before the start of the season. Like you say, getting ready for that game. Four games to go, so about halfway stage of this. That Arsenal fix just come back in. How huge is that for the club and for the players? It's massive, as we said all along. Um, Andrew and myself spent probably three days last week working extremely hard trying to get that game over the line. Um, and then when we finally got the the email from from the USA, funny enough, on on Sunday, it was uh, it was a great relief to us all to actually get that game back on. Um, I, I personally have to thank Arsenal. I have to thank one of their guys, Richard Garlick, who, who I contacted last week um, and just spoke at length about what we felt was 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 where we've been let down and 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 the supporters that 
sent us loads and loads of messages. I think everyone will see on Twitter the amount of messages we got from Arsenal supporters. So it was only right that, that I put the email into Richard. Uh, his response was fantastic. And, and Andrew and the media teams from Arsenal have been outstanding in terms of getting it all set up for, for the launch on Sunday afternoon. I think the ticket sales are going through the roof. I think you know we're up to over 800 at the moment, which has been fantastic. I think the increase since Sunday when it was re-announced that the game was back on has, has, has doubled. Um, and hopefully, you know, the 2,000 people that we targeted for that game, we can get them into the ground. I think it'll be a special occasion for the club. I think the ground is looking fantastic at the moment. There's been a hell of a lot of work gone on there in the last sort of four or five weeks. Um, and, and so we've got to try and make that happen for us. You know, the excitement of going with Mad, Mad Squirrel has been absolutely brilliant. Um, I think what happened on on Saturday in terms of people trying to be they were really pleased for that and we've got some special announcements to make hopefully next week which um, will say where the clubs come in terms of um, further stuff that we're actually done off the, off the pitch so they'll all happen next week but the Arsenal game is, a, is, a, is a going to be a special game but it's very important for us because it gives us another game before the start of the season. Thank you Ian. Thank you. Cheers Will.